What's up, everybody? You're watching Spaceman Reviews. Well, people, <laughs> now they trampled onto my backyard. Uh, so, apparently, either Disney or Hollywood is doing a remake of a classic British movie uh, called Time Bandits. Uh, a movie, I think, based in 1981. It was a very good movie. Shit, even fucking Kenny Baker was in this movie. The guy that plays the R2-D2, or who played R2-D2, the late Kenny Baker. Uh, the movie is about a, group, uh, a band of dwarves that come across a time map where it gives them the location of these time doors. And they run through it, and they travel through time. Except these guys aren't your, your uh, little innocent lads here they they steal shit in the past to sell it in the future <laughs> pretty cool concept uh it's a fun movie uh shit me i love the hell out of this movie when i was a kid um and then they run into a kid in his bedroom where a time portal opens up and these guys end up taking the kid with them. And then the kid's going on adventures. Shit, these little guys, they're on, uh, they're on a ship with an ogre. They're, they encounter a giant. They encounter Robin Hood. Uh, they encounter uh, the Titanic. There's a whole bunch of different stuff in here. Napoleon, played by Ian Holm. Uh... It, it, it's a pr it's a fun movie. It was good for what it was for that time. It does not need a remake. Shit, there ain't people today that hardly even know what fucking Time Bandits was. So why reboot it now? Well, because over here on Breitbart, Time Bandits remake has no dwarfs. Adds girl leader. <laughs> well, there we go. A girl leader. So this movie is not only going to be inaccurate to the original film, but it's going to be a girl boss movie. Why? Well, let's see here because Madam Web did so good. It did so good that upon its DVD release, months, a few months or a month after its theatrical run, uh, it's on it's on Netflix for free. They gave it away on Netflix. Which uh, I'm not watching this movie, by the way. They gave it away. They gave it away at the same time as they brought the DVDs out. Not too good marketing. Uh, what about the Marvels? Kind of the same thing. Nobody wants these girl boss fucking movies. Why? Because like women's sports, it's stupid. It's boring. You need you need these guys to, to kick it up. Well, we can't have... All the bigots out there can't have a bunch of little white dudes running around in time. Why? Why? I think these were a bunch of diverse characters. I mean, here you got a guy looks like he was from the Civil War. Uh, here you got Kenny Baker looks like he was a medieval guy. And this guy here too. This guy looks like he was some kind of World War II mini half pint pilot. This guy here looks like he was a fucking pirate. This guy looks like, uh, I don't know, I can't get a make on him. But, uh, yeah, these guys band together. You're going to take the dwarfs away? What's the point of this movie, then? Well, because we're going to make it funny with the girl bosses, and it's going to be fun. No, it's not. It says, endlessly insufferable Tiki Watiti, Tiki Tits, is going to make it. Look how stupid Thor Love and Thunder was. Uh, in remaking Terry Gillum's classic 1981 comedy, Time Bandits, for Apple TV, without the dwarfs. Without the dwarfs? You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get me. How many people know this movie even existed? Shit, I saw this movie in the theaters. I seen this movie on HBO at least a hundred times. What TD has also done... A gender swap, again. Lisa Kudrow will now lead the Time Bandits. Oh, the great uh, David Rappaport filled. So, okay. 
Waititi thinks he can stretch a two-hour movie into a ten-part series, bounding in a, a ten-part series. Oh, you, like like Doctor Who, right? Because Doctor Who's doing so well, right? No. No, it's not doing so well. Can we get a, can we get a photo so I can laugh at it at least? No, this is just in the idea phase. Th th this is going to fail. I can't even believe Tiki Tits knows this movie exists. Nothing is fucking sacred, people. But it's like, why? Why, Spaceman, do they keep doing this? I'll tell you why. Because they're getting paid to do this. Hollywood, like Disney and other movie corporations, are paid to make garbage that nobody wants. This is exactly like your electric cars. They keep, they, the, the federal government keeps paying these companies to make garbage that you don't want to see in the movies. Just like the, the federal government is paying car companies to make electric cars that nobody wants and nobody's buying. Which is why like last year they only made seven electric carports instead of like thousands. Because no, nobody's buying them. They're just sitting there. And then people are running around cutting the wires off of it to sell the copper. The huge amounts of copper that are in the wires. Um, the federal government pays the movie companies to make garbage. The federal government steals the taxpayers' money. Your money to pay. Because the federal government doesn't have any money. So anytime when the, the federal government is paying a corporation... You're paying the corporation. So you're paying to make electric cars. Just like you're paying to make, to pay companies to, to make shit fucking movies. At some point, this is going to change. So what's going to happen is, there's going to be a total collapse in Hollywood, in Disney. When, when this happens, you're going to see a riptide of destruction in the industry. Because they're putting, they're getting paid to make shit, so they don't have to make anything good. But what happens when that joyride ends? Are we still gonna get shitty fucking remakes? No, they're gonna be forced to have to make good movies again. And how are they gonna do that with all the untalented fucking hacks that they got making these movies and getting overpaid? Well, they won't be able to. They're gonna, they're gonna have to figure something out. They're gonna have to make massive cuts. You're going to see shit that you never thought possible in the industry. So we just have to be patient. We got to get the old Donald Trump back in the office to set things, put things back in balance. And when the things are back in balance, problems are going to work themselves out. They're, see, they don't care now because they're getting, they're, they're taking our taxpayer dollars and making dog shit that nobody wants to see. That train ride's not going to last forever. Especially you got Pete Buttigieg in charge where all the trains are fucking derailing. This is going to derail too. So, yeah. Yeah. So, Time Bandits is going to get axed. It, they're turning it into a TV show, which don't make no sense. It was a movie, not a show. But on a good note, uh, Time Bandits DVD <clears throat> is out there. If you want to watch Time Bandits, I, this is the way to go. I can easily tell you this is the way to go. You got Sean Connery in here, uh, who he plays uh, the guy who fights the Minotaur in uh, in the his, in the Legends. Um, you have Robin Hood played by John Cleese. That was funny. They rob Robin Hood. <laughs> this movie is crazy. It's cool, it's funny, it's a comedy, it's science fiction. David Warner uh, plays uh, Evil, the guy who's uh, chasing after him to get the map. So these little guys steal the map from the Supreme Being, while the Supreme Being is trying to get the map back. Evil is chasing them, trying to get the map. Every All these bad guys, they want to get the map. So, yeah. So it's it's definitely a good movie. Does not need to be turned into a TV show. That that don't make no sense. It's amazing how 
Hollywood is fucking everything up. Disney's going to pay for fuck up Star Wars. Don't you worry about that. Disney's going to pay for fucking up Marvel and Star Wars. These were two cash cows that if they just kept on doing things the right way, they won't they wouldn't suffer, but no, no. No, all these companies, all these TV companies and TV show companies that are producing uh, DEI garbage, they're all going to get hit by a fucking shockwave. Because without getting federal money, federal government's not going to going to take our fucking tax dollars. There's going to be a lot of tax cuts too, which is why we need to get Trump back in office. These guys are going to get hit by the thunderstorm of retribution for us. So it'll be the end of dog shit movies, dog shit shows. Not all of them. Some will still make a little bit here or there. But when they realize there's no money, that it's all coming out of their pocket from now on, they're going to make less shit and start really thinking about making good stuff. They want to get asses in the seats. So get your asses ready to get polished. But anyway, people, um, I think I ranted enough. Uh, yes, I'm back um, with my wife's crazy work schedule. Uh, I'll be making videos on and off. So just bear with me. Anyway, God bless all of you out there. Thank you for your supporting this channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure you check your subscription. And hit the subscribe button. And join join the team. Be safe. Stay safe. God bless all you out there. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Woo!